Do you ever hear me say that I'm the luckiest human being on earth? I happen to be retired. I'm full of retired. So I have assigned myself a job. My job is to be the best human being that I can be, utilizing all the resources that I have. And that's what I work at. I shoot pictures, as you know, and I share my photos with you. I also have a site where you may purchase my photos if you wish. I also make micro videos like this one, and I enjoy doing that. I also write for Amazon. I write little articles for Amazon, and I enjoy doing that too. It is really fun. Now, the fun part of it is that you don't have to agree with me. As a matter of fact, I prefer if you disagree with me and do so by explaining, really, why you disagree with me. That way, together we learn. The other thing that I do, which I am very happy about, I have an email address. And I encourage people to write to me and to vent. My promise to them is that I will answer legitimate email as soon as I can, and I will then delete the email. I will then use your email if it does apply to everyone, and I will use that as the impetus to answer a question. For example, why is it why is it people don't like me? Why do they say horrible things about me and gossip about me? Well, I consulted with somebody that I respect and admire, and I shared that question with that person. And my answer, together with her answer, and I came up with this. Three things that are important. Number one, a lot of the masters in this world take a long time for them to know who they are. You know, 40 days, uh, 40 years, 40 lifetimes. It's very difficult to know who you are, right? So if I have a difficult time finding out who I am and what I am, they possibly cannot know who I am or what I am. So their reaction is based upon their perception of me. And because of that, three things apply. Number one, are they saying that because they're just angry uh, about themselves is it's more about themselves than it is about me, right? Are they saying it because they're mean and they are mean and they like to say mean things? Or are they saying that because they're naive? Okay, one at a time. Let's assume that they're saying that because they're a mean person and they just like to say horrible things about me. Well, the way I handle that is that I consider them, if I may borrow a term for the political world, I consider them persona non grata. In other words, they're not important. And I cut them off. After all, even Jesus said, if the arm offend you, cut it off. And even Jesus said, do not throw pearls in front of swines. So they become a persona non grata. Now, what if they're saying, I don't like you, but what they're saying is, act, is, what they're really saying is, I don't like something about you. So they say, I don't like you. So my response is, what is it about me that you don't like? And I got to tell you, because of the blind self, in other words, the blind self is what you know about me that I don't know about me. And because of that, I do things all the time, and it's improper. It is not correct. And until somebody says, look, Dave, you know, you really talk too much. Look, Dave, your grammar is awful. Look, Dave, your spelling is terrible. And on and on and on. So what I do is I take what they tell me as constructive criticism, and then I choose to make the corrections or not. And because together we learn. I had now know something about me that I did not 
know about me. So when they say, I don't like you, they're saying something, I don't like something about you. The third option, of course, is if they are just saying something for the sake of saying something. In other words, it could very well be a reflection on them and not on me. In which case, I then employ what I call to be, mm, and this is not the proper psychological term. Perhaps the psychologist will um, add their comment. But I have coined the phrase, I have adopted the phrase, controlled schizophrenia. In other words, I don't respond to them. I no longer respond to them. Some other person is responding to them. And that other person is totally ignoring them. And that is because I am in their company and I cannot get out. So they talk all they want. They can say as many horrible things as I want. And I will simply, simply ignore them. Now, those are my ideas, and I'd love to hear your ideas, and when you share your ideas, together we learn. Have a wonderful day.